Last week, we looked into opening files and manipulating their data using the Node.js file system. This week, we're going to continue onward by saving data back to the drive. We'll also look into a couple of handy methods that come along with the basic open slash write capabilities. Let's continue right along using the same server and code that we established last week, except I've removed the console log lines. Here's what index.js should look like. The first thing we're going to do is use some handy methods to get some information. So inside that function where it says we'll need to do something here, let's do something there. Specifically, before we write our file, let's create a directory, if it's not already there, in which to store the file. Replace that comment with this code. Go ahead and run that. You'll get an exciting error in your console. Displaying an error is handy, but not really what we're trying to do. Let's create the directory instead if it doesn't already exist. Replace the console log line with this code. Save that, run it, and it's going to create that folder. Sweet. Let's move on to actually creating the file. We've got our author JSON ready to go. Or do we? OK, no, we don't. The output generated by CSV to JSON is actually a JavaScript object, not a JSON string. This is great for manipulating it in the code, but less great for saving it to a file. So let's stringify it. Below the if block you just wrote, the top one. Add this code. Now we just need to fs.writefile this baby up. Here's the code. And there we go. Run it. Save it first. Check our output folder. And we can has JSON. As you can see, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, generally there's not a huge need for saving random snippets of JSON, but imagine if you were creating an app that needed to generate physical logs of errors or large amounts of data for your clients to download and ingest via their own processes. Having access to the file system for those reasons is wildly useful. Additionally, having access to the file system facilitates things like conversion apps. Maybe you've got 6,000 documents in an old obscure format. You could hand convert each one, or you could write a little Node.js app that does the job for you, and organizes them into folders by creation date or alphabetical order. So that's the basics of the file system. There are a bunch of other FS methods available for doing things like deleting files and directories. I'm happy to cover some more of them next time if you'd like. Just leave a comment on this video and let me know. See you next time.